Hey, what's up guys? So Isotope has just announced Neutron for their brand new revamped suite of eight plugins that are really aimed at giving you everything you need to get a professional mix. Now, since Neutron has been around for a while, I really wanna highlight the new things that they've added to Neutron and give you a good idea of what you're getting if you upgrade to Neutron 4. Now, one of the main things that they've done is they've entirely redone the assistant view and you no longer have to answer questions in order to get a result going. You can actually just click right on the assistant view button and it gets started listening right away. The mix assistant will actually listen to your track and give you a custom target curve as well as a starting signal chain to help you shape your track and fit it into your mix. There's also a new target library where you can reference match in real time by using either the built-in presets that they give you or using your own presets with stems and samples from your own library. And for the other things that they've added, they've added an unmask module to Neutron 4 that discovers and fixes masking issues for you, enabling you to reach new levels of clarity with your mix. And then last but not least, this is probably my favorite update to Neutron. We have new intent-based controls in the form of punch, distort, and width. There are these really graphically pleasing controls along the bottom of Neutron 4's new assistant view that help you quickly make big sonic improvements to your individual tracks. So that's an update of all the new big features that they've added to Neutron. I want to jump into this project though and show you how I'm using Neutron 4 to actually mix and shape my individual elements in my own productions. Okay, so I have this track here that I'm working on called Around the Sun, and it's really this EDM track that is very bass heavy and has a really nice sizzling sub that I've created and crafted with Neutron 4. Okay, that's what my new track consists of, and I gotta say that the sub is probably the main focus or one of the big stars or focal points of this mix. And I really did create and craft it with Neutron 4 using the new trash mode that's inside Neutron 4. So let's go ahead and open up Neutron 4 and just take a look at what this actually is. So Neutron has always had an exciter, and what's different with Neutron 4 is that they've actually ported over the four most favorite wave shapes from Trash, their distortion plugin, into Neutron 4, and you can activate it from inside of the exciter. So right now you have two different modes that you can choose from. You can choose from Classic, which is historically the exciter mode that's been inside of Neutron, and now we have Trash mode. If I click on this button, we can activate the four wave shapes that they ported over from the Trash plugin in and use them directly within our mix. And the cool thing is that you can activate it and use it within this detailed view or you can go out to the assistant view and you have these really big hard to miss user interface controls that you can control the distortion aspect of the exciter with and that's what these intent based controls really are. You can increase the amount of distortion. You can also use this XY pad to change the type of wave shape distortion that you want to choose from. And then you can also adjust the tone of the distortion, to either a more darker tone or a brighter tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and solo out this sub bass and just make the loop brace go over this portion of the song. And I'm gonna give you a before and after of the processing with the exciter module. So this is what my sub sounds like before the exciter module. And then this is after. So as you can hear, it adds so much character and distress to this sub bass sound. And how I did it is I actually just added the distortion after 1.7K and it's cool that you can split the frequency profile of your different instrument tracks and just apply the effects to the portion of that frequency profile that you actually want to hear it applied to. So all the bass at the low end is unaffected while the top end has this nice sizzle with the trash module. And like I said, you can explore the different wave shape distortions distortions that they have chosen from Trash and you can really hear the different flavors that came from Trash and are now incorporated into the Exciter module. So I'm going to go ahead and play this back and let's just hear what these different flavors of distortion actually sound like.
So as you can hear, it gets super gritty. And then, like I said, you can adjust the tone slider here to emphasize either the low end content or the high frequency content. Let's go ahead and play this back again and just experiment with this. Okay, let's take a look at the other two intent bass controls. And I'm actually gonna look at the next element in my mix, which is my ARP that I made with Massive X using the charge expansion. Let me go and close out of Neutron 4 on this track and then just open it up on the ARP track. Okay, as you see below, we have these other two intent bass controls called Punch and Width. And these honestly are just such an easy way to either push forward your signal or pull back your signal, as well as add some stereo imaging to your selected track. So I'm gonna go ahead and solo this ARP here and let's just hear it now. And specifically for this ARP track, I wanna add some stereo width to my overall sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it back and then just explore and see what this sounds like and how it adds some stereo image within the mix. It really just pushes my ARP out to the left and right sides and just gives it that right sounding fit within my mix. So I'm just gonna leave it there with that and then let's move on to the kick. Okay, so for the kick, I actually left it blank and didn't add any effect to it because I wanna show you what it's like to process with Neutron 4 from scratch. So let's go and add Neutron 4 to this track. And by default, it opens up in detailed view, but what I wanna do first is just loop this part of my project. We'll open back up Neutron 4. And now when we click on the assistant view, it's immediately gonna start listening to our kick and apply a target curve to the kick, as well as give us a signal chain as a starting point for processing the sound of our kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this back and then click on the assistant view to start getting a result. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and solo it out and just see what it sounds like isolated and what it's done to this kick. You can see that it's already applied the target curve in the preset library as kick. And then if we go to detailed view, you can see that it's giving us a signal chain as a starting point for processing our kick sound. So let's just go ahead and see what this all sounds like together. So it's added a sculptor, an EQ, compressor, another compressor, and the exciter. Now I'm not so sure I want distortion on my kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this module and just see what it sounds like without. Yeah, that's more the flavor I'm looking for. I don't want an overly distorted kick for this track. And then let's unsole it just to see what it sounds like in the mix now. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Now you can use this tone match slider to adjust how much you're using the sculptor to fit this signal within the tone match target curve. And this slider right here is directly related to the sculptor amount within the individual module for sculptor. So if we go ahead and listen back and turn up this tone match slider, We can see that it's also affected it within the sculptor module and now it's at 100%. So just adjust the tone match and gets it closer to that target reference that the assistant view automatically pulled up for us. Okay, let's take a look at the last intent base control. We've taken a look at the distort intent base control and then the width intent base control, but let's take a look at punch here. Now this module specifically is gonna affect and manipulate the microdynamics of your sound. Punch is all about adding more snap, thump, and punch to your audio. And this directly correlates to the compressor module inside of Neutron 4 
And if you take a look at it, there's this punch option right here with the same controls that we see inside of the assistant view. Now you're gonna notice that there's no threshold ratio or knee values that you can change for this because according to Isotope, it can sense the height and width of your hits automatically, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and play this and use this module on the kick. And I'm just gonna go and solo it out. And let's see how it pushes our sound forward or, and then also how it pulls it back as well. It's just a nice way to really manipulate those microdynamics to get you closer to the sound that you're actually looking for. And let's hear it back in the mix now. Super useful, I love it. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is that you can use Neutron and its compressor as a sidechain compression control. And I've done exactly that with my sub bass track. And you can do this on the signal chain for your Neutron 4 by adding a compressor module. Now, how you set this up is you have inside specifically Logic, you can click this little drop down arrow, and then you can have the side chain come from any other track inside of your project. And you can see that I've chosen the kick on instrument five or track five as my input for this side chain compression. And then I'm just going to go and close this up and you can see that I use the vintage compressor to actually control and activate this compression. And you have to hit this little activate button right here in order for it to actually work. It's one of those things that when I first started using Neutron, I didn't know why the sidechain was working, but you actually have to enable and click this button and then you can hear the sidechain in full effect. Now, one other enhancement that they've added and improved with this sidechain compression specifically is you can actually view the dynamics of your sidechain compression over time using the new oscilloscope that they've added to Neutron 4. So if I click on this and then play it back, you can actually see it in full effect. Which is just like a really cool enhancement that is purely for experience and being able to really see your sidechain compression instead of just hearing it. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. All of the main things that I have found inside of Neutron 4 that have really just been improved for me. And I just, I'm loving this edition of Neutron 4. It's starting to feel like it's coming into its own and being refined to the point of being something that is a mainstay within my production process. I really think that these UI changes have been a game changer for Neutron 4 and make it such a better experience using the product. Anyways, a great plugin and definitely my favorite version of Neutron yet. And I'm so excited to see what's to come with Ozone and the Pro Series and just like the whole mixed production suite that they've put out. Because if this is anything to tell of what's to come from Isotope, it's going to be a great thing going forward. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in a comment below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.